beautiful that is. All right, let's just let social media catch up. All right, I can see a few of you in. I'm just going to um, evening all, as I can see a few of you have started to come in now. See social media catching up. Uh, Lee Ashby here, motocross and speedway memories. Uh, got a really cool uh, live interview this evening. Uh, basically, I'm just going to get my thank yous on, and uh, hopefully, my guest to be with me soon. Uh, I've just uh, WhatsApp him, so hopefully that should be all good. He's sorted himself out. So I will just get on with my thank yous. Uh, big thanks to the support to Simon Pardo of White Eagle Finance. They give quality financial advice for pensions, mortgages and investments and protection. Check his website out at www.whiteeaglefinance.co.uk. You can quote myself, Lee Ashby or Motocross and Spear members for free advice with Simon. Big thanks to the MX legend Stefan Everts with his S72 Gin and Vodka brand. Check his website at www.s72gin.com. Big thanks to Lee Owen of Owen Developments. Uh, they specialise in supplying turbochargers to a global customer base, covering motorsport performance and aftermarket and OEM sectors. Check his shop site out at www.owenturbos.com. And also his other website is www.owendevelopments.co.uk. Big thanks to Terry Smith of uh, Terry Smith Painting and Decorating for his support. And also a big thank you to Craig Triplett of Jardine Conservatories. Uh, you can check out them guys on www.jardineintalford.co.uk. And he's also proud sponsors of uh, the young American, Mr. Luke Becker as well. So thank you very much, Craig. Uh, also, thank you very much to Steve Irvine. Uh, you may see him on uh, Facebook. Uh, he's got a couple of pictures in the background there of uh, Mr. Bruce Pennell and uh, Eric Gunderson. So thank you very much for them. So I could have some Speedway memorabilia in the background. Really appreciate that. You can check him out on Facebook. He does really cool drawings of all the legends and riders all over the world. Um, I was just going to say as well, um, just waiting for my guest to come on. I've got uh, got the competition, uh, the MX uh, and Speedway memories uh, competition still going. I've got the uh, signed jersey of Mr. Ken Roxon. There we go. That was his uh, World Championship MXGP shirt when he was at Red Bull KTM. Uh, you can message me to get uh, any tickets uh, for that. Well, basically, it's numbers, not tickets. You can have any numbers for that, and then we do a live draw uh, for the shirt as well. Um, as soon as that's sorted out, it's going to only be 100 tickets in the draw. Hello, Andrew. Uh, PK, a true Speedway star and servant to the sport, especially in the UK. Thank you for some fantastic memories. 100% Andrew, I will relay that when we get him on. Um, so, yeah, that is the competition. Um, you may, I, I was supposed to have a, another Swede on last night, uh, met across uh, star from the 90s and into the 2000s, Mr. Peter Johansson. Uh, but unfortunately, we had to change the uh, date of the thing to probably look in next week now. Um, he basically got to see his grandchildren for the first time in a long time. So obviously that came first, of course. So good on him for being able to do that after all this COVID situation. Also, I'm just waiting for him to come on. So I'll, uh, just, uh, let you know about my, uh, motocross and spear memories, uh, reunion, uh, meeting that we've got in September this year. On the 4th and 5th of September at Whiteway Barton. Some of you Speedway fans may want to know that uh, you can come down to Devon for the weekend. It's only £10 for an adult for the entire weekend. You could stay Friday night and Saturday night. Someone's just put uh, any chance of getting Sam Romilenko, uh, Daryl Connor there. I have spoken to Sam Romilenko on WhatsApp and he is uh, going to do one for me. So I'm just trying to sort a day out for that, uh, Daryl. And then I will share with all you Wolves fans, especially, obviously. And all the Speedway fans out there from USA and all over the world, I will share that. Uh, so hopefully I can get a date with Simon Malenko soon. So, yeah, I have spoken to Simon Malenko, so that's cool. be amazing to get him on. And, m m m excuse me, m uh, most of you may have noticed just behind me here, look, uh, on my logo that uh, sudden Simon Malenko is on my logo with Mr. Stefan Everett. So it'd be very cool if we get... Uh, Samuel Lenko on, which I showed him my uh, logo when I first had it done. And he was he loved it, so that's cool. Yeah, so definitely. Um, on the reunion meeting, uh, 
I've only got like, uh, what have we got now? So 17, 18, 19, only 22 places left for the entire event now. Uh, and that will be a maximum of 352 riders to come to Devon. And then basically, like I was just about to say, uh, some of you Speedway fans will be interested in, there's a lot of uh, ex-pro Speedway guys uh, that are coming down to the reunion to ride uh, on the Sunday as well in the uh, Legends demonstration as well. The likes of uh, Alan Rossiter, Swindon, obviously, team manager and co-promoter. You've got Andy Graham, a, a name you'll all remember. I know he rode for Wolves as well. Um, Chris Louie is coming down, the uh, Ipswich, obviously, promoter and running the Ipswich Witches. Uh, he's riding. Richie Hawkins, the Ipswich uh, team manager. Ollie Allen, the joint uh, Team GB manager, is going to be riding as well. Um, Simon Walker will also be riding. He rode for Swindon, Somerset. You may remember Simon Walker as well. He'll be coming down. Another rider, Paul Lee, is going to be riding as well. Another name you'll know is Robbie Kessler, the German rider that used to uh, rode for Germany in the World Cup, etc. He's going to be there as well. So we're going to have a lot of speedway uh, guys down at the reunion as well. I'm just going to check my messages, see if PK is having any trouble. <laughs> oh, he's just asked me to try the first one again. So I sent him an email. Give it, bear with me a second. I sent him an email. He uh, told me to uh, email one to him, which I did. And then he'd give me another address, which I sent that to him as well. So I'm not sure what... He's doing it. I'm just going to do this quickly again for him. Uh, what's he put? Send the link again. Okay. So I'm just going to send this uh, link to him again. Won't be too long. Uh, let's reply to that one. Paste. Let's see if he gets that one. Okay. Hopefully he's going to get that now. And then I'll send another one just in case as well. Info. Send both. Hopefully you'll get there now. Hopefully he's going to be able to come on now. <laughs> Getting his, uh, just, uh, sorry, I was just WhatsApping him again. Um, there was another from the day before. It was all about Sam, Sam Renko on Tuesday. Oh, interesting. Evening, Dave Drummond. How's it going? Looking forward to this tonight. Should be good, mate. Phil Alkin, how's it going? One of my all-time favourite riders, PK. Such a great guy and a Speedway legend, for sure. Uh, tell PK, Trebor and Sh Sh Shazra are watching. Okay, will do. I'll uh, catch up with these comments when he first comes on. Uh, when he first comes on, I'll go through these comments that you guys have just made. Uh, so we'll keep that uh, going. I'll just basically do my intro video for him. Hopefully, it'll be coming on soon. Um, back to that, what I was saying about the reunion. I just mentioned some of the legends. There'll be a lot of ex um, professional uh, motocross riders will be coming as well. But basically, they'll be racing on Saturday and Sunday. It's basically a BSMA union, which was a British Schoolboy Motocross Association, sort of 80s, 90s, into the 2000 eras of guys that are all going to come back riding for this reunion. It's going to be 352 riders, that's even without the legends. So, as you can imagine, it's going to be a very busy weekend down there. It's in uh, Newton Abbott uh, in Devon. It's uh, called Whiteway Barton, and that'll be the 4th and 5th of September. There will be uh, spectators. And as I said, it's only £10 for an adult for the entire weekend. So you can camp as well. There's no camping fees, and it's free for under 16. So you could be there for £10 for the whole entire weekend, seeing some old uh, Speedway pros that you guys... Uh, <laughs> PK is nuts, and Neil Burroughs said. <laughs> he's been sending me some uh, cool uh, WhatsApp pictures today of that uh, he's been driving around in the snow today. So, uh, yeah, obviously the weather's very cold over there. And, and on that meeting, so I've only got like 22 places left out of the 352 maximum we can take. I've got four places left in the 125 Evo or 250 500 Evo. I've got the 125, 150, 250F modern is full. I've only got one place left in the 250cc stroke 450f modern. I've got 10 places left in the 125cc Super Evo group. I've got seven places left in the 250 stroke 500cc Super Evo. And both the novice groups of 44 are both completely full, but there's some reserves for that. So if anyone wants to get on the reserves lift, you can. In the veterans over 45 open is also full. And then obviously we'll have the legends group on the Sunday as well. There'll be two demonstration um basically they'll be doing demonstration laps the guys 
no pressures on them racing, but it'd be just cool to get all these old uh, ex-pro speedway stars and motocross stars out there together having a ride round. Just for the record, Ollie Allen was joking around saying he's going to be block passing Chris Louie. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if he remembers my sister Di Phillips and husband Dave's parents are wondering that's Phillips. So some of you guys, look, this is what happens if someone's registered, look, that you can see it, that's the YouTube. So if someone that's registered on Facebook, I can see your name and profile. But say, for instance, whoever wrote that, it's not registered, so I won't be able to quote the name. So any of you guys think that you haven't pressed on the link before PK comes on, basically, before you come into the video, there's a link on the post and you click onto it just to basically give... Streamyard, what we're on, the OK to use your profile, so I can see your face like that and quote your name when I put a question on the screen to PK. So, uh, watch this later. But just about to pick up the door from where I hope it goes well. Thank you very much, Paul. You can catch up with later. Any of these live uh, interviews I do with all these stars, um, they all get recorded and go to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel for free as well. Not across in Speedway Memories. And if you go on there, there's literally probably 50 to 100 now of all the stars from all over the world um, in the British League, Americans, all the guys, they're all on there. There's loads that a lot of you guys probably don't even know I've done. Um, so, yeah, it's worth checking out and you can watch them in your own time. I used to do Skype interviews with the guys one-on-one -on, -one on my own before I got into all these lives, which is a bit more special as we can uh, get we can get uh, the live questions uh, to the stars there and then. Uh, I'm just going to see what PKs. Can't open it. PK's having trouble. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I was just about to say PK's having trouble, but something's trying to come through. I think I can see the man. I was just checking my WhatsApp again then. <laughs> Keeping everyone talking, I am. <laughs> right. Looks like the man's here. I'll be able to hear you in a minute when I bring you in, okay? You can hear me, but we can't hear you until I bring you in the screen. But I can see the man here now. So I'll get me questions back up on my phone. Here we go. So, right. I can see he's there. So our guest is here, people. So uh, let's get this underway and get the promo video going and uh, get to meet the man himself. Here we go. PK was down at the bottom of the screen and he's disappeared. Oh, there he is. Right. Hopefully I can bring him in and it's going to be all good. Peter. Can you hear me? Hello. How can you doing? hear me, Peter? It's a bit delayed, isn't it, I think? I can hear you, yeah. Oh, you can hear me okay. That's all good. How are you? Yes. All good. I can hear you. Cool. Um, we've had already loads of people coming in uh, saying some nice things already. Um, I think you've just cut out there. Your screen's just cut out. Is the Wi-Fi okay there? So, yeah, mate. You just cut out for a second then on our screen. The technique ain't uh, too clever tonight. <laughs> What's the Wi-Fi like, PK? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's cutting in and out, isn't it? Uh, you hear me now? I can hear you good, yeah. 
keeps sort of like cutting in and out. It's a bit like delayed. I don't know. I don't know what the Wi-Fi is like. Is that all the snow that's causing the Wi-Fi problems? <laughs> <laughs> snow is gone. Is it gone now, is it? <laughs> it's gone, yeah. Right, I don't know if you can see on this. Can you see my screen okay and all that If I when I put these up? <clears throat> yeah. So I've got uh, Andrew Stinton here. He's put uh, PK as a true Speedway star and servant to the sport, especially in the UK. Thank you for some fantastic memories. Yeah, that's nice one there. We've Very got good, uh, yeah. so, someone's put Tal PK that Trebor and Shazra are watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good on your Trebor. There we go. We've got Phil Alkin. He's put one of my all time favorite riders, PK, such a great guy and a speedway legend. Thank you, Phil. Uh, looks like Dave Drummond here is a Bellevue fan. He's put Evening Lee. Looking forward to this tonight um we've also got someone here no name but they're I'm wondering if pk remembers my sister di phillips and husband dave parents of andy and daz phillips <laughs> yeah of course i do uh, i spoke to diane uh, only a week ago actually did you yes and uh, and dave they're in uh yeah just a bit north of you they're in malvern all oh, right okay yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's have a look then. Let's have a look what people are saying. Really appreciate you coming on, Peter. You've had a busy day. Yeah, very, yeah, busy. Most days are busy, but uh, yeah, just got home uh, half an hour ago here and uh, got some food in me, and then I was battling with my computer, and now I'm, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm on, on my phone instead. So yeah, it seems okay now, Peter. It seems to be all right now. Uh, yeah, so it's all okay. seems to have worked itself out. So that's good. So what have you what have you been up to uh, lately, then, Peter? Uh, well, it's uh, mate. I'm, I don't even know how I had time to ride speedway at all. You know, <laughs> it's so much to do. So yeah, uh, yeah I'm working my own company and uh, uh, family. Uh, yeah, plenty yeah. to do. You know yeah very busy then yeah you might have you might have to translate this for me peter um steven zetterwall here he's put looks some swedish up on the screen there look <laughs> yeah <laughs> hello steve i hope it's I hope it's clean steven <laughs> it's clean it's clean. Oh, clean it's clean it's, it's good. about uh, my it's about my first team that I was riding for and uh yeah. and then about his team that i Road for as well in Sweden. Uh, okay, that's what you got that. in the background. I ride for yeah. Smidana. Ah, uh, is that that's what he's, he's mentioned? Ah, right. Okay, so he's liking that then. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We've got your uh, Mr. Hurry here. Paul Hurry's come on. I know he did the uh, on the spanners for you as well. He's put hello, please. Trebor and Shazra love the pasta dinner. <laughs> yeah, is that why I, when I cooked pasta for uh, for the boys probably. I'm not sure, but uh, Paul, yeah, great, uh, great friend, and uh, he was my mechanic, like you said. But I was mm. also riding with him and against mm -hmm. him a lot, and hard rider when I rode against him, and good teammates when we rode together. And uh, obviously, he's still racing. He's racing for the Kent Kings, I think, this year as well. So, uh, be interesting <laughs> to see that. how he gets on. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen that. That's uh, yeah. still mixing it. He, incredible how we can keep it up but uh well done paul and i'll be watching your results yeah 100 percent uh got a mark welsh has just come on and put uh hi lee and pk true wolves legend yeah hello mark <laughs> i've got a uh, neil burrows here that's come on from, uh, from on youtube and he's put pk i'm a cradley fan whoops <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, I, I was a fan of Cradley Track, but uh, not much more. <laughs> but I like the Cradley Track. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got a question here, and I think I've got a photo of this, actually. Uh, there's no name on it. Uh, they've not put their name on, but it says, uh, I did get PK on a grass track bike for an Astra meeting on Paul's bike, and hey-ho, he won the meeting in front of a top-class entry. So would you know who that is? Or? No, I don't know. I think I've got a picture of this as well. Yeah. 
Ooh, is that the one? There we go. That's it. There we go. Yeah, look. So you won that time. meeting, did you? You won that meeting. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I believe I did. I think the final, when we got through to the final stage, it actually got, uh, I think it got rained off. Uh, but there was a, some sort of result. And uh, I was the, the top man, yeah. So, a bit lucky, I, I guess. That. But there you go. There's no, there's no luck there, Peter. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, by I the did, way. I, I, did, I, I, I did hold the throttle open. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> I, I know that. I know you did. Here we go. Look, we've got some Swedish cider look for the occasion. Oh, good stuff. Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> awesome to get to speak to you. Proper legend. Uh, enjoyed your career for sure. I've had a. I've got a, a speedway. Prof um, sorry, a football professional here, Ty Balford. Uh, Ty Balford. He's put what a legend. Loved watching you race. Okay. Yeah. And I've got uh, YouTube here. Someone's put, I was a Lakeside Hammers fan. It was awesome to have PK ride for us. Yeah, good good time there at uh, in Lakeside. Uh, two and a half seasons, I think, with it there. And always liked the place uh, when I rode for other teams. And it was good to, to have their callers on as well and uh, help them out. And good times, yeah. Got some nice pictures of you there, look, in the lakeside colours. That's it. Yeah. Um, I think That's you were... Uh... colour, so that would have been somewhere else. There you go. Yeah, the maybe it's here, I think. And I think you got a... Uh... So you won something there? Probably, yeah. I don't know what that was, but... No, I was just looking at that, just trying to work out what it was. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Peter, did you um, how old were you when you got into Speedway? Then, what what was your sort of first experience of a Speedway bike? Oh, uh, that's a long time ago, you know. You know, <laughs> <laughs> back, but I'm trying to write the memory there. <laughs> yeah, I, I grew up on the Speedway track or around it when my dad was uh, he was riding in the lower division in Sweden and. Uh, yeah, it was like a family thing, you know, and we were buzzing around there on our push bikes. And when the age, I think, I think I was nine years old when I had the first bike. And uh, yeah, I have a memory there when when uh, me and my mate, my mate and me, when I, we were nine, my birthday was in the winter. So my dad took, took us to the ice, you know, and uh, we we're going to try this bike out on the ice, on the snow. And uh, we got pushed off and into the <laughs> into the side of the lake, you know. And it, it ended in I was early, you know, maybe not as a career like that, but uh, yeah, in early days, we, you were like looking at uh, myself was looking at you had Speedway magazines and stuff, and you had lots of pictures from British League, you know, which was the place to be and all the you know peter collins and all the names you know bruce panel and yeah lots of riders and that's yeah. what you wanted to be when you grew up you know and it was there from maybe 10 years old and there was nothing else in in the head you know from then so and finally when 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 you got good enough 18 19 and you could uh, add some good results here and yeah, the call came and off we went to England. Uh, Lovely memories there. Lovely yeah. memories. Glad we got you over here. I've uh, got Mr. Sean Tacey's uh, come on now. Look, uh, he's put the inside second Ben legend. Very proud to have rode with you. A top class man there from Sean Tacey. Yeah, she is, Sean. Is he talking yeah. about the uh, Carl? Is he talking about the Carlson Corridor there? <laughs> 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 yeah, probably, probably, but uh, uh, a few riders have used that, yeah, and uh, good place to pass a few riders there. And, yeah, just and a few you've done there, Peter. That, that, uh, that Carlson Corridor worked on many tracks, not only Will Rampton. 100%, yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. 
all about setting them up, Peter. Um, I've got a question here from Nate Monday. I know he's a Swindon fan uh, as well as myself. Oh, obviously, with my family connections. Uh, he's put PK. Did you ever come close to signing for Swindon Robins? Um, never, no. But uh, uh, I was very close to sign, or actually did sign for uh, Reading. Did you? And uh, the first, because I had to think through the memories a bit when uh, when you uh, said I was going to take it. Yeah, and when I first came, the first time I drove to England, me and I had my Michael was with me, my little brother. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, we actually drove to Swindon and uh, stopped there with Clive Fisher. The oh, yeah, presenter. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was going to sign for Reading. Or did sign for Reading, but uh, for some reason, there was work permits and stuff, and the work permit didn't come through, so I could not ride. And mm. then the season got finished, and uh, next season, it was all Rampton instead. Ooh, so, 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 so the Reading fans missed out so, there. So I no, but I never, yeah, I never rode for, uh, or I actually had a call from Swindon, and uh, only been opposition against them. Yes, uh, I actually remember you winning uh, one of the leagues with Wolves. Was at Swindon as well? I think when uh, I think Woofie was quite young then as well. I remember as well. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you might. <laughs> yeah, good memories. Good memories. Uh, you got, you guys deserved it. You guys deserved it. It's all good. Um, I've got uh, a Peter and Dorothy Bowles here on YouTube. I've put, uh, got to be all that's good in Speedway in one man. What a blinding bloke. There you go. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Some nice words being said. From Eastbourne, yeah. Yeah, from Eastbourne as well. And uh, I've got uh, Graham Hurry here. He's put, uh, what a legend, PK. And you should have gone into the world long track, he said. Yeah, yeah, cheers, Graham. The yeah, long track. I was thinking about it quite a bit, but uh, uh, it's quite hard to mix it, I think. And uh, I did a lot of speedway, you know, I was mm. riding most days of the night. So uh, when I did have some nights off, you know, there was time not to be on a bike. So, so uh, yeah, uh, that could have been good, but there you go. Oh, you definitely would have been good, yeah, for sure. Um, I've got a question from Ty uh, Balford. He's put, uh, what would you say is the hardest track that you rode over the years and why, PK? Mm. The hardest track, the most difficult track. Uh, mm. uh, you you know, when you try, you have some difficult meetings and stuff, but mm. you try and always, or I tried and always, Think positive about it and, and and like it. So there was there was not never a hard track really, but there was. I mean, you came to play, so you came to Swindon for sake, and the boys were really tuned in there. And it was mm. the most difficult thing is you know find the setup and and the lines to ride properly. And uh, but it's uh, it's got nothing to do with the track and and that. So yeah. Tried to like all the tracks I was on. Just so you could, to go into it with a positive mindset, otherwise you put yourself off type of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. And uh, I remember I, I, I used to not like going to Peterborough so much in the early days, but then I, I became a Peterborough rider for, uh, I think mm. I rode there for two seasons, and it was the best, best track ever, you know, and... One of my absolute favourite tracks in the end. But I've I didn't actually, like it just as you said that. Oh, you didn't like it too much in the beginning. That's just funny that Mark Davies just come up there, look, and put highly in PK, a true speedway legend. Did you enjoy your time as the Panther at the showground? There you go. <laughs> I, I did, yeah, I did, Mark, uh, a lot, and uh, what a fantastic race track it was. And when you got set up good there, and uh, you could just. You know, you missed the gate and you would pass people like nothing, you know, and uh, yeah, I liked it. And, and fast as well, so good stuff. Nice shape. Very um, 
Paul Hurry's just come on and he's put, uh, it's been an honour and such a pleasure to be a friend and what an honour to be your mechanic. Uh, PK was always one of my schoolboy heroes, which he never knew. Uh, <laughs> thanks for everything, PK, and what great memories we have. That's nice. Yeah, we, yeah, we do, Paul. Yeah, cheers, Paul. And uh, really Paul, cool. you know, I've, I've told you before, but you have to come over here and uh, we'll fill you up with some Swedish beer, mate, and we'll have a good time. <laughs> Yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. Go on the lakes as well, Peter. <laughs> oh yeah, on the lake. Uh, Simon Corbett here has put. Did you ever ride at Exeter? Yes, I did. Yeah, a uh, few few times, and uh, uh, I think yeah, I had uh, one or two good meetings there, more I can remember, and and uh, we had a test match, uh, Sweden versus England there as well. Oh right, uh, but special <laughs> special track, and it was always good to go home from there, though in one piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The steel safety fence wasn't some uh, people's best of uh, thoughts of where they went there. <laughs> no, but I'm glad I did it, and it's one thing, yeah. you know, when uh, something good to pull out, you know, that you've been riding on the safety fence with steel. <laughs> mm. Yes. I've seen some of the guys using uh, the berms up against it as well to uh, cut back off as well. I've seen some uh, footage well, of it. It's been really good, wasn't it? Yeah, well, you, when I rode there, I'm, I can't really remember who uh, who rode for them, but I think I've definitely ridden against Mark Loram there. It, it could have been this yeah. test match, but I remember he rode it fantastic, you know, on the mm. on the fence. And uh, like like he could do it, you know, and uh, I remember me following him and, you know, he kind of taught me how to ride the place. And, uh, yeah, you had to be on the fence to ride it properly, you know, there was no way you could not be on the inside there for sure. And good, good track. Yeah, for sure. I, I did have an interview with uh, Lawrence Hare and he rode there for a while and uh, we had some coverage of him uh, Literally squaring it off of the berm that was up against the fence to pass Charlie Jeter. It was quite quite cool to watch for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, uh, right, I've got Sandor here on uh, YouTube. He's put hi. Uh, you were a very professional rider, so I have full respect. Uh, I have seen you many times in the GP, uh, but unfortunately, you could not reach the gold. What do you think the reason was for that? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I had a couple of good tries you know i think i mm. i came uh sixth maybe uh at the at the best in the gps overall but uh it it's uh to be on the top in the world championships you have to have so many things going right and good for you you know and it's not maybe i was capable of riding as a world champion but uh there's so many more things that has to be correct you know to go all the way and uh, yeah in the end i focused more on league speedway and uh, that was suiting me much better than trying to go for the big price so yeah that's fair enough yeah 100 percent. you had some good years in gp as well uh, I've got a uh, Danny Hughes here. He's put. Uh, how does PK think the the lads' fitness come into play these days compared to his time with the Reg, Joe, Mark, and Chris, all the legends of your time? Uh, how how what, what was the question? I think he, I think he's sort of saying uh, what what do you think the fitness of the guys sort of maybe in the nineties into the two thousand era and what the guys are maybe doing now? Oh, Trying to compare so... it, I suppose. Yeah, we, I mean, myself, I was doing quite a bit of fitness in the nineties as well. I mean, running and all that. But but nowadays, they are the the top men and uh, league men as well. They are really working hard on fitness, and so that I think that part of it has definitely gone one or two steps forward. But mm. In in the nineties as well, you had to you could not you sit back and think the bike was doing everything. That I was myself was working pretty hard at fitness then too, but uh, nothing compared to what the boys do now. I think. 
So. I, I, spe- I would say probably the only thing, Peter, is that a lot of them now do sort of the mental side of things and uh, that type of thing, mental coaches, and maybe that type of thing now is a bit more prominent now in the sport, in a lot of sports. In a lot of sports, yeah. But mm. but that was something that was used back then as well. You know, I, uh, I had little tries at that. There was nothing for me, though. I didn't really take any liking to it. But I know... Mm-hmm few others did that and it worked for them for sure so yeah i think the the whole top bit of the speed world uh, it's more professional you know all, all over and but I mean, it's progress and that, that's how things go in it yeah for sure yeah. all right i've got uh phil alkin has put uh did pk keep any of his suits his race jackets or his bikes uh, from his great speedway career uh, I got uh, I got a couple of bikes, two three bikes, and uh, yeah, I got I got my last upright bike, which I'm I'm proud of that, and that's like uh, like I used it in '95, I think that was. So that's that's good to have, and uh, I got lots of race jackets. That's I've kept all them, the ones I had, and. It's not one or two. I, I promise you, it's, uh, it's hundreds of them. But yeah, race suits, and I'm not too keen on uh, old stuff. I, I got some stuff, but not everything for sure. Okay, I got some nice pictures here from a bit further, uh, further back. Um, oh, there you go. I actually got that. Go. That's uh, lead. That's leathers in it uh, from GTS. Got there, I got. I got that pair still. Nice, I love that. I love that. Um, just make sure this is you as well. That's me, yeah. Yeah. Wait, where's I got another? <clears throat> is that go. the same? <laughs> yeah. A bit more hair. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a nice one there of you and Billy mixing it there. That probably at uh, Dudley Wood by the looks of it. It would have been nicer if I was in front of him there, but maybe <laughs> yeah. I was probably lining him up to pass him. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I thought yeah. you might say to me, "Can you get can you get me in front of one?" <laughs> I was going to show you this one as well. Was, uh, another the one there, a little cradley by looks of it. Oh, that's uh, Hancock, isn't it? And yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some good battles there, and with cradley, that's for sure, and good times. Yep, some good ones there. Um, right, let's just get back to what uh, someone was asking me there. So I've got Stu Clark. He's put Steve Clark. He's put Peter. I've been watching you at Wolves since 1992. Such an amazing rider. Fantastic personality. If you had to pick one rider to go into Heat 15 with, who would it be? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's not that easy, is it? But, uh, no, not with the riders you've rode with. Yeah, uh, I, at the end of my Wolverhampton career, me and me and Freddie had a few good Heat 15. So uh, yeah, I'd say Freddie Lindgren then, probably Freddie Lindgren, <laughs> another legend of the Wolves for sure, and uh, definitely challenging, looking to challenge again for the world for the world title. I would say this year as well. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so mm. for uh, for him as a f- mm. friend and colleague, and uh, and for Swedish people, we need uh, we need some success, you know. And uh, he's pretty close, and I hope he can mm. take the last step. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, I did have this question down as well. So this is another good one. As uh, Danny Hughes has said, is uh, how does PK, what does PK think of the new Polish rule now? Um, I presume you are aware of it. Um, what does he think of that new Polish rule about the, you know, obviously having only other one other country to ride in other than Poland? <clears throat> uh, what does he mean that you can only ride in Poland and? and yeah, Poland? basically Polish speed. Yeah, Polish speedway. We're just basically trying to bring a rule in where they. Their riders that they sign, they will only allow them to ride at one other country instead of, say, Sweden and England. They'd have to just ride one or the other. Or... I think that's the top league in, in Polish speedways. That's, yeah. yes, that's correct. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. 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 I think, I mean, they want to control the 
the riders mm. they sign, they want to have. I think it's going to end up with actually, if you sign for a top league, uh, extra league team, I think you have to stay there and ride only there. And I think that's mm. what they want to do for sure. And uh, probably, yeah. They are uh, they are ruling the top speedway, aren't they? So mm -hmm. I mean, they they can do what they like to, you know. And they they're paying the riders pretty good. And yes, that's where the money is, yeah. isn't it? So yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm, I don't know what I think about it. It's probably not the best, like we did or have used to be riding all over the place. It's pretty yeah. tough on the on the men as well. So uh, it may be good to slow it down a bit. Maybe yeah, uh, yeah. That could be that could help as well. Um, I've got Callum Marshall here. Uh, I know he's a, a fan of the Graham brothers. He's put Lee Ashby. Can you ask PK if he knows any of the Grahams uh, when you was riding for the Cradley Heavens? I'm sure he knows Alan and Andy Graham. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, I, I must have rode against. Uh, I cannot remember for sure. Uh, Andy Graham. Or road oh. against, but uh, oh. Alan, I'm not sure, but I'm friends with them both. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, this is interesting. I've uh, often compared you to this guy as well. That someone's just put here about your style, uh, very uh, armchair perfect style. Liam Jarvis here has put PK was a very stylish and trick rider, definitely in the Lee Adams League of Style. Uh, used to enjoy watching you when you came to Ipswich uh, with us as a visiting team. He's just mm. asked uh, which, which seven riders would be your dream team. Oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Another yeah, putting you on the spot. Yeah, big time. Mm. But, uh, I've had lots of good team members and mates, and uh, so it's really hard to pick that. But mm. I would have my brothers in there, and uh, a few other yeah. Swedes maybe, and Muffinden, and yeah, there's. There's lots of good uh, good riders, so it's hard to say really. But so, there's another uh, nice yeah. and then another nice no. comment here from Jackie Priest. She's put, "I've always loved watching you, PK. Great rider." Yeah, thank you, Jackie. Uh, another Simon Corbett's put, "What does Peter think of only six league teams in the top league in the UK with all the track closures uh, for this season?" Yeah, I didn't. I didn't uh, know that actually. It's only mm. six teams in the top league. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, that's not the best of no. things. I think it'd be nice with more teams. And I'm surprised, really, that uh, UK should have a big league. I think with with more teams involved, that'd be nice. Mm. I reckon. Mm. But maybe one league altogether, yes. I think. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, or two. Yeah, it's three now, isn't it? Or yes, three. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. There's definitely things that they could look at for sure there. Um, what was there any riders when you were younger, Peter, that you uh, looked up to that were an idol to yourself um, when you were coming into Speedway? Was there any? Did you have any Swedish idols, or was it world star idols, or? Uh, well, mm. When I was young, really young, you know, when I started out, it was always Peter Collins and guys like that, you know, uh, especially him. He had a cool style, I thought, and yeah. that was something I was looking at as a kid. But uh, yeah. it was great when I got to meet him and know him and I rode for Bellevue later on and he always came and talked a bit and that was good stuff. But uh, yeah. you, when I became more, riding more and more, you always tried to beat everyone so there wasn't much of idols then you know <laughs> they were opposition yeah. So. yeah they were opposition for sure yeah did you enjoy your time at the Bellevue yes I did yeah yeah good memories from there as well so uh, there you oh, go nice one there, yeah. I think that potentially could be Peterborough there was two I think two two or three seasons for Bellevue as well so yeah I was just looking at that earlier yeah, you had a couple of stints there, so you enjoyed that time there as well. Yes, I um, did. A lot of the a lot of the speedway guys did um, sort of motocross and things like that in the winter for a bit of fitness as well. Did you get into a bit of that? Did you go on the motocross bikes in the winter as well? Enduro bikes, um, I've been you got on. enduro. Yeah, yeah, and and um, a little bit of motocross. We've got a motocross track uh, around the corner here, so 
quite a bit bit on that, but uh, I had some fall offs, you know, and nearly got injured. So I decided not to go on the bike. Yeah, when I got like maybe thirty five years old, I I thought end of this now and just focus on speedway in the summer, you know, and uh, so I stopped it. But uh, yeah, because you know on the speedway rider the. This one works pretty good, you know, but breaks and jumps, breaks, and yeah, like that, you know, it, it's uh, pretty dangerous <laughs> stuff if you can't do it. <laughs> yeah, we had that conversation earlier. What breaks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, someone just put Phil Elkins just put uh, sad to see the old Bellevue Stadium has started to be demolished today. The old one, oh, yeah, mm. that's, a, that's a shame. That's next yeah. door to the new one, though, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, what, what did you think yeah. of the track when you read that? Of one? the old one, mm-hmm. uh, I think the new one is a uh, hundred times better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Even I, I rode for Bellevue and I had some good results on the old track there. They, mm-hmm. It was a uh, pretty tight and hard to pass mm-hmm. on that track, so mm-hmm. you had to make a good gate and that. But uh, the new track is absolutely fantastic. So. Uh, well done to Bellevue to to been able to pull it through and make a new great stadium there and good for Speedway in England too. I know a lot of the guys they have. Uh, did you have any uh, sort of special engines you used to like over the years that uh, see some of the guys sometimes uh, given nicknames and things like that? Did you have any special engines that you liked for certain things and stuff like that? Or yeah, yeah, you do as a speed variety. You you get your favourites and you hang on to them as long as they live, you know. And uh, <laughs> uh, I I wasn't that keen on giving them names, you know. But there, there's been a, two or three names, you know, on the favourites. But mostly they were numbers to me, you know, and uh, that was simple that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, Danny Hughes has put uh, hope PK. How does he feel that the bikes have changed from the uprights to the lane downs and uh, the tracks have moved on? What did you think of the change when it went for up, from upright to lay downs? Did you enjoy that and then bikes? Uh, no, I, I thought well, that was a, a a game changer in Speedway. You know, when mm. when the lay downs came and uh, it's it's natural, isn't it, with progression and stuff, but. Uh, they are radical bikes to ride now, you know, and um, you have to really nail the setup and stuff. And the old uprights were, for sure, they were a little bit easier to ride on and a little bit slower to ride on as well. So, if that's better or the other is better, I'm I'm not sure, you know. Um, I uh, it's speedway still, isn't it? So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, what was it like actually having, obviously, your brother? Uh, what was it like having a brother uh, not only just racing Speedway, but obviously you were both uh, competitive together, you were both in the same team, you won things together. That must have been quite special to do. Yeah, well, uh, not only one brother, there was two brothers. Yes, <laughs> I was just talking about Michael there. Yes, yes, sorry, I did. I know that, yeah. Magnus, yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, Magnus as well, yeah. We uh, obviously brothers and talking a lot and um, shared mm. a lot of things, but uh, on the track we there was some hard battles, you know, uh, between us, and uh, mm. that was quite competitive, competitive <laughs> against each other as well. So, uh, but uh, yeah, we we talk every day, and uh, you know, uh, good friends, both my brothers. So. Uh, Phil Elkins just asked, what does PK do for a job these days? Uh, I know you've touched on that you've run your own business. What sort of industry is that in then, Peter? Yeah, we, we run, a, or I run a, a transport business, transporting okay. uh, heavy machines in the, yeah, by road. So I, I, I do quite a bit of driving and some paperwork and stuff like that. So I'm busy with that. Nice. In the snow. <laughs> in the um, snow. Uh, you, in the snow. <laughs> um, you were obviously a multiple uh, Swedish champion as well. Did that mean a lot to you? Have you got memories of that when you re- won the Swedish championship as well? Uh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, at a young age, I won that uh, twice and a uh, long time ago now. So, But 
big thing and I, I did a lot of Swedish finals and was on the podium quite a few times but uh, I won it twice and I was runner up a few times and third and stuff like that and it was a big meeting yeah, and something you aim for as a, uh, especially in the young age you know when from yeah. 20s and upward yeah very cool thing um did you used to have any superstitions peter at all not really no <laughs> that's a good thing no. that's a good thing <laughs> yeah i'm gonna some of the guys have some crazy stuff charge, yep so sorry I need to charge my get the, some charge in my thing here. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, bit. yeah. Carry on. Yeah, no problem. Take yeah. it easy. Yeah. Well, I see. He's just uh, looking at some of your comments, guys. Um, Crystal Monfils was my Swedish hero in the seventies. Just looking what a few of you guys have wrote there. Um, Nice one there, PK. Just looking at what some of you guys have just written there. What does PK do the job? Yep, just done that one. No. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, hold on. What am I building there? Hello, Mike. I'm back. All right, all good. All good. Cool, thank you. Um. Who were who would you say that were your uh, biggest influences in your career, Peter? Uh, oh, mm. that was different stages, you know. When I when I came over to England, that was uh, there was a lot of influence, and uh, I rode with Emelenko, of course, in in Northampton, and uh, I was with him quite a bit, and I learned a lot from him, and and but. Uh, one good thing when when uh, in Sweden there yeah, when uh, foreigners was allowed into the league and we were kind of 18 20 years old then uh, my team signed uh, Tatum so and yeah. I was looking we were looking up to him a lot and he was really pro and good you know and uh, we learned a lot from him at that stage you know so it's important and you you never stop learning really when you're uh, chasing something and uh, you always look at things to change and what the, the riders are doing so but I, I would say Tatum there at, at the early days in Sweden and uh, Ermolenko in when I came to England. Are they very professional guys that you could obviously like uh, take things from and, and learn? Yeah big mm. time yeah. 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 Brilliant. Who, what riders were your fav favorite team ride with? I know you obviously had some good, great teammates at Wolves over the years, and obviously all over the world. But um... yeah, like I mentioned, you know, Emelenko was a team man, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, yeah. a, a good uh, individual rider too. But he always gave it a hundred percent for the team, and that's something that when you're young and you see this, it, it means a lot for uh, for the teammates and. Uh, makes everyone better so that's something to i'll try to do when i got more senior and that and make sure that your teammates see that you mean business you know and you take it serious so that's yeah. quite important and uh, you obviously had a very successful time as well riding for sweden uh, winning the world cups obviously multiple times as well um that must have been pretty special as well to do that for your country yeah, big time. Yeah, it was good memories. That I think uh, we won that twice in in England, didn't we? And uh, one yeah, time in one of them, yeah, yeah. One time in Denmark. So yes, yeah, good memories for sure. Yeah, and very cool times. Nice piss. Um, I saw that you obviously had your um. The last uh, say, I think it was called, wasn't it, with your uh, testimonial at Wolves? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was very cool. It looked like it was a, a great, a great day there. You really enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, good turnout, and uh, that's the one. Yeah, uh, yeah, good, uh, good meeting there, and uh, 
nicely organized and uh, it was uh, in uh, March I think or yeah it must have been March so we were a little bit unlucky with the weather it could have been better on the day but it didn't rain when we rode and, uh, and that was the main thing and I think everyone enjoyed it and we had a good party afterward as well so that was uh, <laughs> that was good you obviously had some uh, I, I think that was you and uh, is that you and Freddie as well yeah, uh, yeah I can't really remember there was uh, some pairs format or three man team you know and uh, yeah yeah I made, I made sure uh, there was only one winner in that meeting and uh... <laughs> <laughs> exactly that Obviously, you've had some amazing uh, memories over the years uh, with obviously your Wolves career has been amazing. Um, got some nice pictures here. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, what's there? <laughs> yeah. Is that in the Swindon pits? Yes. <laughs> good spot, good spot. <laughs> can't remember what happened then. <laughs> no, I bet you can't. I can tell nah, you. Nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You guys deserved it. I haven't got a problem with that at all. That was good. It was, uh, you, you guys deserved it. I think that was there as well, wasn't it? Was that, that might have been. Uh, no, that's... Uh, no, no, that's no, a that's Bellevue. not. That's at Bellevue, that's yeah. Bellevue. I actually, uh, when we got back to the pits there and uh, after that uh, thing on the track there, when we won, I said to the boys that that was my last meeting. And uh, it was. So, yeah. 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 Uh, good good way to finish yeah very nice that's a nice picture there yeah also <laughs> it's not that this... long ago actually when was that no it's not that long ago is it 2016 yeah it's not that long ago is it no i've really already much. had people uh, i've already had people uh asking me uh, when you're coming back <laughs> <laughs> coming back yeah I'll, I'll yeah when you're coming back to... I'll be back <laughs> to support the boys, for sure. What did you think of, because uh, someone's mentioned that as well, what did you think about the Jason Crump coming out of retirement and coming back to uh, British Speedway and riding Ipswich and stuff? What was your thoughts on that when you were at that? I, I, I could not believe it. Uh, actually, I, 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 met, uh, I met Crump in uh, Aussie uh, a few years ago when I was with uh, Wolfenden in the GP, so... I was yeah. talking to Jason a bit and good to see him and uh, and uh, stuff like that. I think he said uh, that he would, he was on the bike regular, well, not regular, but sometimes down there. But mm -hmm. I would not believe that he was going to come back and ride. And that was something I was looking forward to to see actually. And uh, uh, I, I I don't know if you knew, but I was a team manager for a couple of years here and. Uh, for uh, Dakarna, and uh, I tried to sign Crumpy last year as well. <laughs> Did you? Did you? <laughs> but uh, he, he wouldn't have it. He would stay in the England, he said, and ride there. And yeah. Uh, Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy doing that? That uh, PK I as hope well. He gets on the bike, so uh, yeah, so we can see the results. Yeah, it'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I've heard he's uh, lost a lot of weight and things like that and been training hard and stuff, so it's obviously but taking it seriously. Is he lined up to ride again this year? Yes, I think so, for Ipswich again, yeah. Yeah, okay, good stuff. Mm, should be interesting. Very. Yeah, very interesting. Is the sound okay now? Uh, can yeah, I can hear you okay. Yeah, I can hear you okay. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, it's like uh, like a backlog, or what do you say? Delay. It's a like, it's a delay. Is that? Yeah, there is a little bit of delay. Yeah, it was all right earlier, but then it seems to maybe just do a delay in a little bit again. Hmm. You hear me okay now? Yes. Okay, good. Cool. Yeah, good. Um. Who are your closest friends uh, in the Speedway world then, uh, Peter? Oh, yeah, there's, there's been many, but, you know, the teammates you spend time with, you know, but obviously they changed all the time. So, uh, mm. but, uh, yeah, there you go. Lots of friends there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, that's nice. There was that. Was that was that uh, afterwards? Back at the back at the bar, was um, it? Or? I don't know where that was, but uh, there was some I've events been before that meeting and stuff like that. Yeah. And probably was one of them. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I've just even had my brothers come on look and put uh, PK. What a rider. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Um, I was going to ask you if you've got any uh, funny sh stories that you can share with us. <laughs> yeah, probably, but uh, <laughs> yeah, there's 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 many, you know. But um, one time, uh, me and me and uh, me and Michael was going going to Bulls, okay. and uh, always he went backwards and forwards all the time. So yeah, we we, uh, we really like to come to the airport you know and we ran into the airport and up with the boarding passes it's a long time ago you know there was boarding passes and paper tickets and stuff and mm. the lady there she uh she looked at the ticket and she said uh, <laughs> you and you you're in the wrong airport so we, we uh, <laughs> we're gonna catch the plane to go to Wolverhampton and we, we drove to the wrong airport you know oh wow uh, that's funny or sad or what but so we missed the, we missed the flight and missed the meeting, but uh, it got rained off. Luckily, oh, so that was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Van Stratton, there, he was uh, he wasn't too keen on us then when we rang and said that uh, we weren't going to come, you know. But uh, luckily, that time the weather, you know, saved uh, it. Saved it. Yeah. Saved, saved it, the day. Saved it. Yeah. Big time. I bet he was having yeah. I bet he was having kittens. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was Jesus. terrible, you know. Drive oh. hours from here and uh, going to the wrong airport. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Ooh. The, the, this is an uh, interesting question. This is an interesting question. Someone's uh, not got their name on it. They put, are there any riders or teams that you really enjoyed giving a good thrashing to? <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Don't, don't say Swindon. <laughs> <laughs> No, you said that, didn't you? So I don't know. <laughs> but uh, well, we when I rode for Bullrampton, you know, and uh, giving giving all for them, we always used to have really good battles with Eastbourne, and uh, so uh, when we got one over them, that was really good, you know. And uh, there was some hard hard fighters down there and Paul Laurie was one of them at some stages yeah. and and uh, his mates there you know Dugard and Barker and Dave Norris and there was yeah good good riding and hard riding and we uh, when we won there for sure that was uh, an extra beer on the way home then <laughs> yeah that was a nice one in the bag yeah. I did. Uh, I did speak to uh, a Maureen from uh, Australia that was involved in this series, and she said to me about mentioning it to you. Did you enjoy uh, riding over there? And it was, it was in Australia, obviously, wasn't it? It is, yeah. And uh, I see Tony Ricardson behind there as well. Yeah, I just see that. Yeah. It, yeah, it, obviously, that's uh, as a Swede when you when you're in the young days, you know, when you or as a Swede as any young. Yeah, when you go out to different countries and that, and uh, that's uh, in Europe, it's totally different to what you used to. But when you come to Australia, you know, it's like the other side of the world, isn't it? And uh, yeah, it's massive. Yeah, uh, not nice place and nice memories from there for sure. But and good to see it and and ride there as well. Very cool memories there. Um, obviously, you won a lot as a team rider and as an individual. Um, did you have a preference? Did you rather be part of a team or did you prefer to ride individual meetings more? Or did, did you like both? Or? I, think, I don't know. Yeah, both. Uh, I, I guess you're always on your own when you're behind the helmet. You know, it doesn't matter if you've got your team jacket on, you know, you, uh, you kind of perform for yourself, don't you? And uh, I think I I focused more on being a team rider in the later stage of my career, and yeah. I really did enjoy it. Yeah, and it when it went good for the team, but uh, yeah, well, I was giving it all to try and be success, successful on my own as well. So uh, 
and and when I did, I, I really liked it. Yeah, for sure. So, but uh, simple answer is, uh, I think, even when you ride for a team, you ride for yourself as well, you know, and try mm. try and win races. Basically, pretty simple. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, Phil Alkins mentioned. Uh, can Peter remember racing in the Jan uh, Jan Steckman testimonial meeting in two thousand and four? I think we had the all four seasons of weather in one day that day. <laughs> yes, I, I I think uh, I do remember. Yeah, but I think uh, Ermolenko had a testimonial as well when it was snowing, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm mixing these two up, but. Yeah, oh, right. there's, okay, yeah. there's been a few times in 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 the UK there when it's been snowing and we've been riding. Well, I've, I've never done that in Sweden, that's for sure. It's uh, we make sure it's sunshine here before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I've also got Richard Martin on Facebook has put. Uh, Do you miss riding at Cardiff GP? And which uh, which was your best venue uh, for the for the Speedway GP that you enjoyed? Uh, oh. It, it was a, quite a while ago. I was a uh, Grand Prix rider myself, but uh, mm. and I did one card, if I think, or two possibly. I'm not sure, but uh, uh, I missed an early card. If when I was, I, I got injured. I got my uh, serious uh, hip injury, and uh, I think at the time when that happened, I was uh, fifth or fourth or fifth in the GP and next one to come up was Cardiff so but uh, sadly I missed it in that time and uh, uh, but I did I was at Cardiff and fantastic meeting to be part of but then early Cardiff days the track was pretty rough and stuff like that so it wasn't the yeah. best track to to tackle you know mm. and you have to be uh, on top of the game to to do that but uh, Swedish Swedish Linköping was a good place, I think, for the early GPs, and I remember that as a really good uh, Grand Prix track. It's always nice to race in front of the home fans as well. A big time, yeah, and uh, mm. I mean to to ride for um, for for Britain and to be at Cardiff must be fantastic for sure, and. Yeah. I've been to a few Cardiffs new now in the later as a spectator, and it's a mm -hmm. fantastic venue for sure, and a good weekend yeah. for Speedway fans and for the riders. Yeah, for sure. Um, was there any ride? Was there any riders that you uh, over your career that you didn't uh, particularly like racing too much for any reasons? Nah, no, not really. You know, you you kind of. Put them all to zero when you against uh, them at the tapes, you know, and uh, mm. you know the and when you ride people a, a lot, you know, kind of what their tricks or or stuff, <laughs> <laughs> what they're up to. So uh, yeah, you, you can you kind of you know that, don't you? But yeah, yeah, they're all to beat, aren't they? You know, all the opposition. So I don't really, I didn't really like uh, anyone too much or or hate them you know either or what do you say yeah you know yeah. keep them all at the same uh, yeah keep it positive that's it um if peter if you uh, had to give uh, some advice to any youngster out there now that wants to become uh, a pro speedway rider what would your yeah. uh, what would your uh, advice be nah just go for it and do what you want to do and like it you know and uh, if you like it enough and you do it enough, then it's going to be good, you know, and it's just about trying hard and trying for a long time. Then it will happen. That's for sure. So it's pretty simple. Did you like, did you like all the mechanical sides of things as well, Peter? Did you get into like your own engines and stuff like that? Do you enjoy that side of the, did you enjoy that side of the sport as well? I, I think you have to, you have to like it mm. and understand it for sure. And, I think it helps a lot if you understand yeah. things, but uh, into the engines, I don't know. I've I, I did, I've done that as well a little bit to to kind of understand what's going on. But I think to a certain degree, you have to keep it and ride the bike and not be go <laughs> into depth too much, you know. But it's good to know 
clutches and setups and all that and uh, i think that's positive to know that for sure as a rider um have you have, did you have you kept up uh, with any of the sort of results over the last few years have you been do you watch any of the gps or anything i know you mentioned that you've been over to cardiff um do you still keep in touch with a lot of it or yeah of course uh, that's something i've done all my life and the sport so it's it's kind of hard to let that go and i mean i don't i don't cry if i miss a gp on the telly but if i can see it then i will i will watch it a bit you know but i'm i'm not too keen maybe on the qualifiers and that but if i see the semi-final and final i'm happy with that but and the, and the league speed as well you mm-hmm. kind of followed the guys a bit what the guys you know you know uh, you know Oliver Burnson, I know him quite good, you know, from from he been riding in my team that I've been managing, and uh, and Jacob Torsell, of of course, at Bullrampton, and so you kind of follow what they're up to and talk to them and stuff like that. So it's good to be involved a little bit. Uh, what's the what's the uh, speedway like in Sweden at the moment? What's the sort of situation over there at the moment with that? <sighs> not not too positive, I, I would say, but. Mm. Uh, it's it is a down uh, I, when you look at the long picture uh, or the the big picture. I think it's it's been a downhill for quite a few years with lesser riders and a little bit lesser crowd in the meetings and stuff like that. But mm. the product is still still a good league and, and good riders in the league and 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 the the crowds are decent, you know, but. It is. Uh, it's not going up, you know, the the way you would like it to see. But mm. I don't know what the answer is to turn that around. But I think many live sports have the same problem, you know, with yeah, with fans turning the backs on the live meetings and stuff like that. I'm, mm. I'm not sure what the, the the answer is to to fix that, but. And the the young the young riders are getting lesser, I guess. And mm. uh, yeah, it's the times I think uh, are changing a little bit. And but uh, for the ones that do try it, it means it's probably easier to come to the top, isn't it? So it's not it's mm. positive for them. Yeah, for sure. Is there do you is there any other sports you enjoy watching at all, Peter? Has it just been motorcycles for you, or do you enjoy any other sports? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I watch a little bit of everything, you know, ice hockey and a little bit of football and stuff like that. But I'm not a I'm not really a sports freak at all, you know. I I, I like to I, I did like what I did, you know, and the mm. competition and uh, and riding the speedway bike for sure. But uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, really, I'm just gonna just go through the rest of these pictures that I've got loaded up, so just to have a quick look for. I didn't want to hold you too long. I really appreciate your time. I know you're a busy guy and you've had a long day, so uh, oh, just gonna go, go through these pictures with you. That a few little memories for you. Yeah, Rampton, oh Polish one there, Rybnik. Long time ago. It looks like I'm homesick there. I don't want to go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Ladbrook Olympic. Yeah, remember that famous meeting? Still keep going. <clears throat> nice yeah. shot there of you. That's it. Eskilstuna, Smedina. Uh, good track. Uh, you like that track as well? Oh, Eskilstuna, yeah, great uh, speedway mm. track. You know, it's it was it was a little bit similar to Cradle Heath, I would say, or is similar to. Oh, well, what that shape to be, yeah. you know, shape, yeah. <laughs> there you go, me and Michael. Yeah, nice one there. Looks happy there. Ah. Probably won at Cradle then. Yeah. Let's go again. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. See the speed there. Yeah, it's a uh, fast track. Mm. Carlson, I'm not Do finished. You want to... <laughs> yeah, is that just bit that was out today, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you reckon? Yeah. I'm sure you could still I, do uh, it, Peter, if you wanted to. 
I'll just be with a story. Yeah, I, I rode my uh, my last speedway race in my yep. career was in America, in California. Was it? And, yeah, in that uh, America versus the world meeting, what what they do there uh, at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So was that, was that, that good? There and it was, yeah, it was fantastic. Little setup there and nice little stadium and uh, good. I uh, was there two, three times and uh, there you go. It looks fast. Mm, it does look fast, doesn't it? Bit of Java lay down. Oh, Henk and Emelinko. Sam in it, yeah. Might be Louis Look. behind, maybe. That's a Grand Prix action, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like a Grand Prix. Isn't it? This one there. Sweden. For Dakona. A bit of an older one there, that. Big in Poland. Yeah. Did you like? Was, did you uh, enjoy the in Poland, Peter? Did you enjoy the racing in Poland? Yes, I did a lot, and uh, I rode for quite a few teams in Poland as well. And uh, yeah, I was there. I, obviously, you, you've seen the whole uh, countries. Well, there's a Polish uh, one there. Mm -hmm. It was good to see the progression of the country. You know. And, mm. I mean, you didn't realize at the time we used to come there and ride the bikes and stuff, but every way, every year you come back, it, something has changed and they built something new. And I mean, it's completely different experience to go there now and compared to when I first went there. And that's good to see that. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased to, to see you there. A lot of friends in Poland as well. And yeah, as much as I did in uh, in England, for sure, I probably did more meetings in England. But uh, mm. I did com a lot of competition in Poland as well. Very passionate yeah. fans over there as well in Poland. <laughs> very, very, yeah. Mm. But uh, yourselves are not so bad either. <laughs> no, the UK is not too bad, is it? <laughs> no, no. No, it's been uh, some great atmospheres over the years as well, haven't there? Like in oh, mentioning some of them meetings you talked about, you know, Cradleys and Eastbournes. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, big time. And I mm. mean, uh, I remember early days, uh, I was to see a meeting with Joe Screening when he was, uh, he must have been f f maybe 15, 16, and he was really on it, you know, on his uh, Westlake. And, that's uh, memories you know and there was so much people there and cheering mm. and it was for, for myself you know that from mm. where, where we come you know that the fans don't get that involved and yeah. it was uh they're for sure helping you to perform on the track you know to see that it it meant a lot for people that was watching you know yeah for sure even even that even the swindon wolves thing that were the final i remember that there was quite a bit of edge and atmosphere in that meeting i remember as well it was it was good yeah oh, really yeah. good absolutely 100 yeah. mm. good and uh, mm. you know you uh i have quite a strong memory you about uh we lost the league to uh, bellevue in the early i think early 90s and it it came down to the last race decider, you know, about to win the meeting, uh, to mm. about the meeting, but also for the league. Yeah. So, and I was in that race, and we lost it to to Bellevue, and they won the whole league there. And I mean, there there must have been two, three, four, five thousand people there, and. Yeah, at Wolverhampton, and it just got so quiet, you know, when they won the league, and we were yeah, yeah. to win it, and oh, it yeah. was horrible memories. Yeah, you know, terrible. Yeah, it really stuck. It stuck to me <laughs> you know, for years. Yeah, and years. yeah. Still now, left our taste. Yeah, really, yeah. And, mm. But I mean, that kind of things spur you on to try even harder, don't it? So it's mm. something positive as well. Nice and, one. and we did we did win in the end so yeah yeah the magnus as well and michael yeah yeah how are they 
they're, yeah, they're well. And Michael is uh, is coaching his son. He's uh, on the motocross bike now. Yeah, he's oh, right. uh, his older son Theo, and yeah. he's sending me Phil, uh, footage of him when he's flat out on that uh, motocross bike, and it's good <laughs> to see. Good to see. Yeah, very good. Very nice. Uh, Magnus's kids, he's got some boys uh, as well, but uh, yeah, they, they're on, on bikes, but not not on the track like that. They're just playing around. I'll have to try and get hold of them guys. What will they, be, what will they, think, of an, what will they think of an interview? I might have to try and get hold of those guys, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they'll be that'd up be for good. it. Yeah, that'd be good. I'll give you the I'm number. one there, that. Yeah, that'd be great, Peter. Thank you. That might be, be good to get them on. Well, I'm not like. Uh, ah, are they? Oh, from, probably. I'm, I, since I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I think they are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask that as well because obviously people normally ask the guys uh, what sort of social media they're on, and I'm not sure if you're on any social media anymore. I know you were, you was on Twitter at one point as well. I'm not... No, no, I'm, I have not been on there either. So. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm on Snapchat, aren't I? <laughs> oh, yes, I think I've added you on there as well, actually. Yeah, I think I've you added did. you on there. Yes, sweet. You should know that because you sent me one. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I will. I will continue that as well. Yeah, <laughs> Someone put, I'm not sure I wrote that, and put, uh, I played hockey, played hockey at the link and very good as well. Did you, so you've played the ice hockey as well? At the link? Yeah. Uh, that in Swindon, the link centre. I think there's. Oh right. Yeah, we all we all been on the ice, and you know, oh. in, in Swindon. So oh. I'm not too good at it, but I can do it. <laughs> someone, someone so, put you were very good. They must have seen you. <laughs> well, uh, probably seen someone else, maybe. But there you go. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna go to the telly now, and there's uh, the playoffs in Sweden. The semi-finals in the ice hockey start today. Ah. Yeah, I'm quite into that. I'm quite into the ice hockey. I go down to Swindon uh, every year, and okay. yeah, yeah, we take the kids down there. It's really good. Yeah, well, obviously with the COVID, it's been yeah, it's been terrible, isn't it, for for live sports? And you know, it's uh, it's a shame, but hopefully we'll come over it soon. And oh, is there a date for the English? British Speedway to start now, or is it going to go ahead? Now? Um, I, like planned, or, yeah, or I'm pretty sure it's just like into May. I think it's into May, uh, yeah. and then they start the racing. Yeah, so yeah, good. soon. Good stuff. Uh, St- Stephen's just come back on. And he's put PK is very good on a, a road, ride the go kart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Stephen, you don't ride the go kart. You drive it, don't you? Yeah, exactly. I do ride the go kart. <laughs> Exactly that. Yeah. PK's still fit, look, so he doesn't carry the weight as well, so but he's rapid on one of them. <laughs> That's it. And I like to be flat out, so it, it's a good combination, yeah. you know. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> exactly. I really appreciate your time, Pete. I really enjoyed that chat. I was, uh, really appreciate yeah, your time, too. mate. Really Me cool. Too. I'll keep in touch, and uh, hopefully I can get hold of uh, Magnus and, and Michael as well. It'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah do definitely. that. And uh, good on you for, for doing this, and I'm sure it's uh, appreciated. It's a pleasure for me, mate, to meet you and uh, get to speak to you, and uh, cheers for that with the Swedish yeah. cider. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Take you very easy. much. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, Pete. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, mate. Bye. Yeah. What a legend, Mr. Peter Carlson. Awesome. I know uh, PK's a busy guy, uh, does his own business, and I know he's had a long day. He uh, sent me a message earlier this morning. Um, he had the <laughs> he had the snow. Let's see if we can get the, the the snow up that he showed me, and he was sending me look driving. Look, that's how bad it was uh, for him. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there, look. That's how that's the snow for Peter this morning. <laughs> he's a great guy. Um, um, thank you very much as well, Mr. Paul Hurry, uh, getting me in touch with PK. And uh, looks like uh, hopefully PK has sought me out uh, an interview with Michael and Magnus. That would be really cool as well. Another, obviously, Michael uh, was another uh, Wolves uh, legend. Um, I'm sure he's uh, known as Michael Max now as well, isn't he? Um, 
Thank you very much, Phil. I uh, really enjoyed that with uh, PK. What a guy he is. What a rider he was. Hey, special rider for sure. And uh, he had a great career uh, in British Speedway as well. Uh, really enjoyed uh, watching his career, even as a Swindon fan. <laughs> been uh, been to uh, Monmore Green many a times and see the PK corridor cut back up there. It was always good to watch. Um, used to drive me nuts, and I think to myself, how do they not know that's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, David Peters. Um, great interview. Enjoyed that. First I've seen of these. We'll look out for the next one. Thank you very much, uh, Anthony Weaver there. Like I said, if you guys uh, go onto my uh, YouTube channel, it's uh, Motocross and Spear Memories. You can subscribe to it for free. Uh, there's so many on there now that I've done live ones like this. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to get to speak to all my idols of um, my my youth gr growing up as well. Um, even though I was obviously at Speedway as a, as a young baby at Swindon uh, with my dad and uncle and that racing. But I mean, like, to speak to these guys has been amazing. Um, just to give you a quick run through, like, I did live uh, Luke Becker the other week, um, Bradley Wilson-Dean, Darcy Ward. These are all on my YouTube channel that you guys can check out anytime. Did, like, two, two, hour, two and a half hours of Darcy Ward. Uh, over two hours with Joe Screen a couple of weeks ago. Um, Chris Louie and Jeremy Doncaster together. Did a couple of hours with Greg Hancock live. was amazing. Lawrence Hare was a really cool one as well. Uh, Paco Castagna. I did live and surprised him with uh, his hero as well, 10 times world champion, Stefan Everts uh, from the Mercross. And his reaction, you should go and check that out as well, uh, Paco's reaction to seeing his idol. Um, Ollie Olsen, some amazing Chris Holder. Um, did live as well with Bruce Pennell and Eric Gunderson. It was unbelievable. Uh, the two guys, look, there you are in the background that Mr. Mr. Irvine's done there, look, and sent over to me. It was really cool. I've done uh, Bruce Pennell on his own. I did an amazing, it was about two, about nearly three hours with Eric Gunderson on his own as well. It was unbelievable. Ollie Olsen, Per Johnson, a couple of hours with Per Johnson was unbelievable. Did three, three hours odd with Hans Nielsen live. Chris Morton, I've got uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, Ollie Allen, that was another good one. Um, Simon Cross, I did a good few hours as well with Paul Hurry that's been on tonight. John Davis, everyone loved uh, John Davis's live interview. Uh, he was pretty straight talking. Uh, did Mark Laramlet, uh, was an hour and a half, that was really cool. Rocket Ronnie Corey, um, did uh, my first ever live was with uh, Andy Graham, that was a really cool couple of hours as well. And then before that, it was basically I used to do Skype uh, calls like a lot of you guys know about the Skype now with all these times we've had. I used to do them before we do these lives with the fans. And I did Todd Wiltshire, uh, Martin Smolinski, Martin Dugard, Chris Harris, uh, two parts with Scott Nichols, Gary Havelock. Again, that was really cool. Hans Nielsen, the first time I got to speak to him. I did one with Lee Adams, uh, Bruce Pennell, Alan Rossiter, Jason Crump when he first announced that he was coming back and uh, that he also told me that day that he was definitely going to carry on with it as well. So there's loads on there for you guys to catch up with. And like I said, it's free to subscribe. And that all my recordings I do live go there so you can catch up with them anytime in your own time. So whether you can get to see these live or not, it's uh, okay. You can get to see them another time. But it's been very cool to be able to get the fans close to the, the guys that they idolise uh, over the years and ask live questions, which is spot on. Um, thank you very much. Thanks, Rolf. Not sure who wrote that, but thank you very much. You said that. Another great interview. Uh, cool interview. Love. Look forward to watching more. New Zealand season just finished. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Mona there. Weaver. Danny Hughes. Top show, mate. 100% for legends. Giving up their time to keep it up, mate. Yeah, 100%, mate. Evening. Thank you very much, Richard Martin. Uh, would love an Alan Mogridge uh, one, mate. Yeah, that would be uh, good. Has anyone got a contact for him? Uh, I haven't seen him on social media, I don't think. Um, I enjoyed him when he uh, rode for Swindon as well, when they uh, dropped down in a league. I think it might have been called the Premier League at the time, I think, when uh, Ollie Allen and, uh, yeah, I think we had Ollie Allen, Klaus Christensen, and that type of those riders were at Swindon when Alan Mogridge rode for Swindon, I'm pretty sure. I uh, did enjoy him as well. He was another good rider, great rider. So, yeah, just before I go then, um, just going to let people know, 
I'm going to have to start getting into the Speedway memorabilia, aren't I? do a lot of uh, Speedway interviews and people we've even talked about. I do like the competitions with bikes. Maybe you might have to get some Speedway bikes and memorabilia. As you can see there, I've got a really cool thing there that uh, Peter got me. Uh, met him at uh, Motocross a couple of weeks ago, uh, Peter Jeffrey. And he actually gave me that uh, Nicky Pedersen uh, jacket there, which is really cool. Um, there, look, that's the signed shirt of Mr. Roxon when he was on Red Bull KTM. Anyone wants to uh, get, a, get a number for that in the competition, let me know. Um, but yeah, I've started getting some uh, Speedway memory. Yes, they would, Stephen. I still haven't really got into the Swindon riders, really, like all my heroes. And 100%, two of them you've just named there, Stephen, were 100% uh, a couple of idols of mine, Jimmy Nielsen and Peter Narlene, without a doubt. Um, I pretty much got into all the interviews and I thought, oh, I won't go in on uh, all my idols of Swindon too heavy. <laughs> Seeing a bit of bias out there. But uh, yeah, I definitely need to, not really done. I've obviously spoken to... Roscoe and uh, Lee Adams was obviously a massive idol of mine as well. That was really cool to get to do Lee Adams. If no one's seen that, you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Uh, that was a really cool interview. Uh, but yeah, I need to, uh, Jimmy Nielsen would be really cool. Peter Narlene, I think Brian Carger, uh, I'd really like to do as well. Some of the Swindon guys that I uh, really loved watching. That'd be cool. Uh, I talked to his wife so I can ask, mate. Yeah, 100%, mate message me on facebook or anything like that that'd be really cool there you go brian carga <laughs> definitely definitely would love brian carga i did speak to um phil crump as well uh he was probably my first hero as a youngster uh, i remember going around on his bike on the back me and lee kilby did actually together i've got a picture of me and lee kilby you know sat holding the bars together with phil that was uh, pretty cool uh, that was definitely our first heroes, other than our dads. Um, so, yeah, I did speak to Phil. I'd love to get Phil Crump on. Uh, so hopefully I can get him on as well. That would be really cool. Uh, but, yeah, any suggestions that people have been making, that's all, that's all cool. Make uh, Message me. And if you've got contacts of some riders, I've been, been amazing. I've got so many uh, contacts from all the guys uh, that have been speaking to and everything. It's been really, really cool. Um, but, yeah, if there's any guys that you want to, see uh see then uh give me the contacts and uh see what we can make it happen so thank you very much for everyone uh coming on tonight much appreciated this will be recorded and i will share that all out over social media tomorrow uh so any of the guys that guys and girls that you know that didn't uh, see this tonight live then uh, we can share the link out there and uh get everyone to check it out like i said make sure you uh let your uh, friends and family know about uh across and spear memories We're doing it now probably for about probably about nine months but it's been a whirlwind of uh, time the amount of uh, interviews done in that time has been unbelievable and uh if i stopped tomorrow i'd be forever grateful for all the for all the riders i've spoken to so absolutely been amazing um i'm on um got my facebook group that's uh, quite uh, it's going really well on there so that if you want to get involved in that group uh you can go on there motocross and spear memories uh, they've got a facebook group they have got a facebook uh, competitions page um i'm on instagram as well uh, i've got even got a website um it's uh, mx and speedway and there's a countdown on the front of there to the next uh, live interview that i'm going to be doing like i had one on there with p k on there today there was a counting down on the clock on the live um there's lots of stuff on there as well um i'm on twitter as well um just trying to think of anything i missed but you can just check this out quickly if you want There you go. You might have seen my uh, logo. You can see the T-shirt behind me. Look, there's me Facebook group, uh, Metacross and Spear Memories. Um, so you can check that out, the Facebook group. Um, and there's obviously a little bit of history here as well about our uh, reunion meeting that we got coming on in September. It's amazing. It was a pipe dream less than a year ago to get a reunion meeting together and to be able to get some Speedway stars and motocross stars there as well as 
all the guys I race with in the 90s, 80s, 90s, and, and so on. It's going to be an amazing event uh, this September, and it's just a little uh, video to show you about that. I'm pretty sure I mentioned earlier on the sort of uh, guys that are coming, uh, hoping to get a lot more there yet. Yeah, I've been speaking to some other guys, uh, mentioned it to Mark Laram and a couple of others said that they thought it was interesting and stuff. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, former Speedway guys. Uh, so looking forward to that, obviously, as well. Uh, got a few of them on here. Look, I've even done a little picture thing there. There's a few of the ex-pro uh, motocrossers coming up on screen. There we go. <clears throat> There's the White Way Barton, look, 4th and 5th of September. But like I said, it's only £10 for an adult to come for the entire weekend. So you could camp Friday night, camp Saturday night, even Sunday night if you wished, and uh, maybe book the Monday off and head off and down to the seaside, which is only like five, ten minutes away from the track. Torquay, Timmouth, Dawlish, all them sort of places are nearby. Uh, there's some of the guys there that come in, look, Craig Prattley. Uh, Brian Jorgensen, Danish international, Mr. Greg Hansen, Nathan Shelton, Tom Church on there. Uh, and then also some of the Speedway guys, look. Uh, Ollie Allen, uh, Alan Rossiter, Simon Walker, Andy Graham, Chris Louie. And there's a couple more there for you as well, look. Uh, Richie Hawkins, Paul Lee, Robbie Kessler. There's a, quite a lot of guys coming. I've been speaking to a hell of a lot more as well. So uh, fingers crossed uh, we can... Uh, Get a lot more. There's a lot of uh, the ex BSMA guys there, some BSMA champions there, Mr. Heesman. Uh, we're also doing uh, a lot of the groups in memory of people as well, uh, including my dad, David Ashby. So, including my dad, uh, will be a memory of one of the groups. We're doing uh, memories for all the groups, so uh, that'd be really nice as well. Uh, so, it'd be a great weekend. Um, Yes, I did try to get a hold of him on Facebook, Jan Steckman, uh, Phil. Um, don't know if anyone's got a proper way of getting hold of him. I uh, couldn't seem to get hold of him on Facebook. Uh, but yeah, I'd enjoy that one as well. And I remember he come and uh, uh, managed as well at Swindon. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thanks, Phil. Appreciate that, mate. Do my best. Uh, who was the next spear rider you have on then when? Uh, I'll uh, confirm that. I'll sort something out for next week, 100%. Um, hopefully, buddy, uh, did speak to him and he's going to see, like, obviously we were talking about, obviously, you know, the COVID things and all that sort of thing, but, uh, yes, that would be good as well. Robbie Kessler interview. I've spoke to him about coming to the meeting and everything. He's coming to the meeting to ride in the legends group on the Sunday. So I could definitely sort some out of that. He was uh, great at Stoke, mate. Yeah. I think I've even got some pictures of him riding for Stoke on my phone. So that would be a good one as well. There's plenty. A lot of people were saying to me, all the amount of riders I've interviewed, I'm going to run out of riders. And I'm like, no, there's so many, so many riders uh, throughout the eras of 70s, 80s, 90s, into the 2000s and, and now as well. It's been amazing. I did speak to uh, Nikki Pedersen as well that was going to do one with me. Yeah, that would be a good one, Stephen. Sean Wilson. Has anyone got a contact for Sean Wilson? Um, but yeah, there's a lot to, lot to, to get out there uh, for sure. Yeah, and as Callum's mentioned there, Alan Graham would be a good one. I did get Andy Graham. Um, hopefully we're going to get Alan Graham over to Andy's house and uh, set him up on a laptop like we did with Andy. It's lovely wife, uh, Jill Graham, sorted that out for me. We got Andy Graham on live. That's on my YouTube channel as well, if you want to check that out. That was a really good chat with Andy. Be good to get Alan on. 
Yeah, there's thousands of great riders, mate. Exactly that, Phil. So many to get. I've spoke to so many guys. It's just uh, sorting it all out and uh, getting it all done. It's a busy world and that, trying to get people, busy lives. But uh, I'll do my best and I'll, I'll, we've got plenty of time. I'm not going anywhere. So I will do my best for you guys. So I will wrap it up then, people. Much appreciated coming on tonight. Uh, you can share this to family and friends tomorrow i will put up the link and you can literally click on the link and send it to any of your family and friends as i said you can uh subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss any updates of videos on there it's free to do that <clears throat> so you can do that anytime and there's loads on there to catch up with as well so it's always good when you've got some time or you're on holiday or whatever at a weekend you've got some time there's loads on there to catch up with <clears throat> so i'll speak to you guys soon i always leave uh, my interviews uh, on a quote my dad uh, said to me in his in his last few years bless him and it did stick with me so uh, i like to go by that and that is um that it's nice to be important but it's important to be nice so i'll leave you on that thank you very much good evening thanks very much speak to you all soon and i'll keep you all updated on social media uh what interviews are coming up next motocross and speedway ciao bella speak to you all soon <laughs>